Hi. Hi. Uh, uh, should I use your Discord name? Uh, is that is that fine? Yeah. Or do you have a username you go by? Chloe Madison or Clomads? All right, Clomads. Uh, welcome. Uh, real quick, uh, 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 did you want to have camera? Or did you plan on camera, or did you just want to do audio? You got camera. All right, we'll get you up on there with camera. And uh, let me do this. Can I get your? Uh, hold on. Let me put up. I'll put up. Do you have a uh, uh, like a like a channel or anything I should put up? Uh, my website is vdbx.io, or v I'm Clomads pretty much everywhere on the internet. Chloe so. Clomads. Uh, I hope I'm spelling that right. C L O M A D S. Okay. And pronouns? Uh, she, her, or Zizier. All right, based. All right, we got you all in here. Welcome, Clomads, to the show. I like your backdrop. That's fucking cool. You got like a a work desk with some lights and stuff. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, it's kind of part of why I'm calling in because right. um, I've actually I actually uh lost my housing four years ago. Oh no, a little over four years ago. Oh, sorry about that. And uh, I've been. Homeless in and out of the Bay for the past four years. And luckily over the, the the pandemic, I was able to upgrade from a van to a school bus. Oh, and, uh, school bus is sick. Kind of. Yeah, it's pretty sick, actually. That's pretty sick. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is, it is actually kind of sick. Uh, and especially with like my skills that I have, uh, I've been able to kind of build it out slowly over the past few years as I've been living in it. So. Uh, That's awesome. But yeah, I mean, right now I live in the Bay Area in a homeless encampment, but you know, it is what it is. Hey, it's, it's and, awesome uh, that you've been able to make yourself a, a cool ass living space like that. I think that's super awesome. And, you know, thank uh, you. Housing is fucked in the U.S. right now. It is. A, oh, it yeah. Is, it is. Fucked. Yeah, totally. So uh, I, I completely uh, sympathize and empathize with you. I was in a. I'm lucky now uh, that I, I have a place, you know, uh, in Seattle. And but uh, a few years ago, before I started streaming, I was not. We were in very, very d d dire straits with our living conditions. So uh, I, I feel you on that. Um, I'm just glad you have a place to to stay that's uh, your own. So that's good. Yeah, it. it, it I, I I definitely feel uh, very privileged to not only have you know the bus, uh, but also people. Uh, in my life that have been able to support me at times when things got rough and whatnot, uh, you know, get through the hard times. And, and I'm also working on a few projects right now that are hopefully get me out of abject poverty and so. uh, into, into something a, a little bit nicer. So uh, yeah. some, you know, kind of mixes in uh, with, with uh, the off grid solar, solar punk lifestyle that I've been kind of oh, living yeah. in, even though I'm in the city. So, well, you know, I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of city space and there's lots of reasons to be near the city. I, I, I am, a, I, I grew up in a very rural area and now I find myself living in the city and it is a, it's a bit of a cope sometimes. I, 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 I will say I haven't adjusted even though I've lived here for a while. The, the sound gets to me a lot. Um, yeah. I like so. the sound actually. It's very yeah. much white noise for me. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I uh, that is a that is a lucky a lucky a uh, small lucky evolutionary advantage I think you have over me. I'm like I can't <laughs> handle it. I, I'm like I'm like if I hear one more goddamn plane I'm going to lose my mind. But uh but yeah. I mean I like some sounds. I like my bird noises and my w wind in the trees, but maybe that's just because that's how I grew up. So um well anyway, uh uh not to ramble too much. Did you do you have a uh did you want to like let let everybody know what your stuff is all about, because uh, you know, introduce yourself to the chat and whatnot. Yeah, and, yeah, that'd be great. So, uh, over the past uh, couple years, I've been involved in uh, I've I've been you as a hobby interested in an open source project called Home Assistant, uh, which is a um, a uh, an open source piece of software that runs on Raspberry Pi. Uh, that awesome. uh, kind of takes all of your uh, disparate smart devices and like keeps them off of the cloud and you can keep them in your home network. And it's all very like, you know, de googleifying kind of concept of, oh, thank of God. bringing that to like home things. But the, 
The main problem that I found is that a lot of smart devices aren't really made for, assume that you live in a house and not in a solar powered conversion bus yeah. or RV, right? Yeah, so yeah. I've actually been doing my own DIY stuff with Arduino and whatnot that integrates really well with with uh, Home Assistant. And I'm actually coming out with a, a, a line of uh, hardware for people who are interested in Home Assistant. And I'm also op open sourcing all of my hardware and stuff. So That's I've amazing. kind of put myself through an, an electrical engineering degree of the past couple of years and uh, That's incredible. uh i just was able to get a little bit of funding to do some production runs and hopefully i can get out of like i said earlier get out of abject poverty yeah, <laughs> sometime yeah, I, soon I, I do uh, with the work that i've been putting that. in that so. sounds fucking awesome um uh, google Thank home you. devices are fucking trash okay they are horrible uh, useless. Yeah. They're useless beyond useless. They are mm -hmm. negative use value. They only make your life more difficult. Uh, I, I found a, uh, I found when I first moved here to Seattle, I found a, uh, Google, uh, router, one of those little disc ones that was mm -hmm. an unopened package for five bucks at a Goodwill brand new. Um, and I was like, oh, cool. That seems great. I mean, th there's no way. Like, for five bucks, you can't beat that. Biggest fucking mistake of my life. Nothing but headaches. Uh, ended up trashing it, like, a, less than a year later and just going, I can't fucking do this anymore. I can't deal with it. They had changed apps already. It, it constantly reset its own settings and fucked up our network. It fucked with my streaming early on. Nightmare. Just nightmare uh <laughs> so de-googlifying yeah. i'm totally here for uh the the google uh uh nightmare zone not a big fan of it so yeah 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 also like everybody who makes like a smart device has for some reason has their own cloud service too so it's just like everything at, you turn on you go to turn on your lights it has to ping the cloud and then come back on come back right. down to turn your lights on and it's just like dude what the fuck please why? stop <laughs> well i mean we know the reason why yeah. is because it it, it, well, it lets them yeah, lock in yeah proprietary yeah. gather data all that trash uh basically nothing that benefits you and everything that turns you into a product for the the google uh facebook amazon yep. uh never-ending nightmare zone um oh man i'm, yep. I'm just thinking yep. about uh, uh uh, all the invisible committee stuff that I <laughs> read and their stuff about talking about Google and Facebook and Amazon and Apple. Uh, whew. Anyway. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're building something that, that works like that. I, I am, I do not have that type of talent. Uh, I, I used to be rather, <laughs> I, I used to consider myself rather like, you know, tech savvy when I was younger. And then, uh, I, I, got busy with other things and realized that the tech had had surpassed me so quickly that now I'm boomer. Um, not truly boomer, but uh, not as good as I used to be. Uh, well, so, yeah. you know, I'm, I appreciate I'm definitely it. older millennial. I'm, I'm pushing 40 at this point, but like, I, I don't know. I, 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 I kind of learned the tech because it was a necessity for the design stuff that I wanted mm -hmm. to do. I'm very much like an artist and designer first. And I used to be, a, a UX designer at one point and awesome. I translated that into product design and I'm just like I'm just the type of like autistic ADHD type of person where there if there's any if there's if there's any friction at all I'm just like I need to now spend a hundred hours learning how to <laughs> reduce like two seconds of my time right yeah, <laughs> because this this little friction right now sucks fucking ass <laughs> yeah no I, I, and it's I also very it. much like a, a usability and an accessibility thing too i think you know you were you were talking about the google home stuff but like you know these voice these voice uh like assistants are actually really good for accessibility use and whatnot um yeah. i have i deal with fatigue and adhd and and you know i'm type 1 diabetes and I, i'm yeah. i'm super fucked up health wise so it's just like I, I I don't sleep well and, and, and being able to just be like, hey, you know, whatever your face, you know, turn on I need you to turn off the lights or I need this fan on right now, you know, I can't I literally cannot sit up to turn the fan on. So uh 
being able to build that and then open source it, but also like realize that not everybody's super technical to do all the mm-hmm. stuff that I do. So like make it a way, make it in a way where, you know, people can put it to into practice yeah. um, in a, in a way that's easy for them to do uh, I mean, and, and have that accessibility. Like a lot of these, so. like a lot of these companies try to sell you that, Oh, we're going to give you like an easy solution. And it barely ever is. It's almost never. They just lie. They're just like, oh, yeah, we make it easy because, you know, we oh, yeah. package it. It's like, no, it actually isn't. It actually just is a giant headache. Uh, like, oh, my God. Uh, the, the Google Home shit, like I said, was just like, again, negative use value. Uh, it wasn't easier because it none of it plugged in well. None of it worked well. So, uh, I don't know. I think it's awesome you're building something that's actually going to be able to be, be of use to people and can actually help people and give people some – uh, some some power back in their lives, you know, give them some personal, uh, you know, ability to have yeah. say over their lives. I think that's awesome. Yeah, I also want to do uh, some some advocacy uh, stuff for for my neighbors. You know, I'm mm-hmm. you know the majority of this street is uh, people who dwell in tents, so mm-hmm. it's just like, uh, and and I have. Uh, I've recently kind of stumbled into to being a, a direct advocate and communicator with with the city alongside of somebody else who's been here for a lot longer yeah. um, in, in this specific encampment um, and uh, organizing with, uh, you know, the city did a huge sweep back in October yeah. and now they're coming back and trying to be nice because they fucked up so hard that we sued them and yeah. they're fucking Good. scared as shit. So yeah, like, uh, and, and I'm, I'm like, I'm like a rabid dog when this one guy comes around and I'm just like, and, and so I get to play, I get to play crazy tranny, uh, whenever he comes around, which is, you power know, move. super fun to do. Um, yeah, yeah super power, power move. Power so yeah. good. And you got to know when to use the power. You got to know when to tap it. Yeah. Your- and then still trying to f- figure out how to connect back you know I, i'm doing a lot of this this solar off-grid stuff and and i'd love to like figure out a way to to give some of that back to yeah. the com- community and not just hoard it for myself uh That's and awesome. uh, and whatnot I mean, so i'll be honest it doesn't sound like you're you're doing much hoarding it looks it sounds to me like you're doing some figuring out and, and, <laughs> and developing I, I i have a i have a full like Arduino library back here. <laughs> this is all oh parts and shit. That's incredible. <laughs> I think that's fucking incredible. But you're 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 building things. You're trying to figure things out. I, yeah, that doesn't sound yeah, like yeah. hoarding to me. When I think of hoarding, I think of uh, fucking Amazon uh, server centers. The nine gajillion of them with four hundred thousand uh, racks of servers in each one. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think of. I don't think of I don't think of somebody getting what they need to figure out a project or to, to come up with something new. I think that's just using resources uh, well personally. My, my my joke is I've turned a hoarding problem into a DIY problem. So. Hey, listen, DIY is cool, <laughs> hey. D- DIY is cool as fuck. Okay, I'm sorry, it's awesome as shit. Uh, I think that's that stuff. I like awesome. it. And I also think it's, it's only going to become more important as time goes on. Uh, let's just say, mm-hmm. um, I agree. You know, the economic uh, straits in in the United States generally are not great, and uh, and. Uh, uh, I think that they're not going to get any better uh, as climate change progresses. So uh, people being able to build and repair their own shit, I think is going to be really important. It's a set of skills that I think people have yes. lost. Um, there's mm-hmm. there's a, n- a number of yep. skills that like uh, people have completely lost touch with and have no way – that don't have at the moment a way to regain. Um, people don't know how to take care of the land. People don't know how to survive. People mm-hmm. don't know how to take care of water. Um, and that's nobody's fault. It's not like, it's like, oh, you know, it's not no, like this. No, like, no, not at all. This message, it's just the way that life has gone. People have been moved away from this and, and they have to learn skills that keep them alive in this current paradigm. But if this current paradigm starts to crumble or fall apart in in large areas, people have to start to learn these things and taking those first steps to, to make that possible is huge it's it's huge and it will save lives in my opinion so um yeah um diy yeah is, is i want to really cool. i i definitely want to at some point uh get some land in the desert and allow you know wayward queers in their vehicle dwellings to come and stay and you know fix them and learn how to do stuff and have have a shop kind of like a maker space in the desert type of deal 
is like my long-term goal and i really love that idea because like you know i i i i mostly focus on like electronic stuff but like i i even have i do all my own uh, own uh engine repairs i even like rebuilt my transmission myself and everybody wow. called me batshit crazy for trying and i'm just like uh it's the middle of the pandemic i got a couple months to spare let's do this that's, <laughs> I don't give that's a shit. sick though no i think that type <laughs> of self-reliance is awesome and it's rare it's not something that a lot of people have so like um being able to 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 to, to figure it out to be able to share with others to be able to teach others and also, uh, by the way, I think it's awesome. The idea of making like a desert maker space sounds sick as hell. Honestly, that sounds amazing. Um, and <laughs> people in chat are saying, yeah, that was, <laughs> that was wild, a wild decision of you. <laughs> yeah. But no, I think that's sick. Yeah. Uh, I, and I, I, um, no, I just think that's really cool of you. Uh, that's a cool last thing to do. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I am just a a, uh, a humble internet clown. Uh, I, I I know how to work hey. a camera, and I know how to make lights look funny and nice, and I know how to make people laugh a little bit. I used to be a filmmaker, too, which is the funny thing, too. I, I also used to be a filmmaker. <laughs> Based, though. Based, though. <laughs> I Filmmakers went to school are... for, for, for video broadcasting. That's yeah. That's awesome, though. I mean, filmmaking is like a, a – filmmaking is a path that sets you it, – it's like – if you if you get into filmmaking at all, uh, outside of a certain select few uh, choices, but for the most part, it basically determines that you're going to be a uh, an improviser for the rest of your life. There's I don't I think there's like like the call of yeah. filmmaking, okay. is the call of people <laughs> who like uh, who love to to just in, inconsolably that. fly by the seat of your pants. Like it's just I don't know what it is. There's something about it. Like uh, I mean the amount of things that I've slapped together that shouldn't work, but do, uh, for this film, for this, for this stream setup, my whole for life my sets for so many things. It is, uh, it is, it was, it all started with, with me picking up the damn camcorder and, and making stupid films in middle school. Uh, and it's all, it's all just gone from there. <laughs> oh oh God. God. My films in middle school and high school were, were batshit i love it they were uh i i had uh <laughs> i just i figured out how to make homemade gunshot squibs in high school uh to do nice. the shooting of gandhi uh for a school project Damn, yeah that's awesome uh yeah, yeah I, was I loved i loved <laughs> messing around with practical effects when i was in in high school especially uh in middle school we were goofing wait we were like we 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 weren't even we were just filming us being dumb and like uh and with like barely any plot or jokes written it was just goofing around completely and then in high school i was like oh i started getting oh, yeah. into like an indie mogul on youtube i watched their stuff and i was like oh wow cool they're like putting together special effects and i was like all into like how do i do this cool thing and uh and we had a lot, I had a lot of fun with that kind of stuff that's sick as hell the, the homemade squibs is awesome i i never did squibs i did uh I did a homemade uh, 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 disembodying effect where a person got like the the the, the thing was he had a, nice. a, a torn in half body and, and it was this whole thing where you you build a little platform and you have your your actor's feet buried underneath and and then they, you have a shirt with some some fake guts hanging out of it and then they can crawl around in this in this little thing that you have set up and it really looked good it looked amazing at the time people thought it was the sickest thing they'd ever seen in a homemade video and but uh you know that was the type of stuff i was i was like into i did that kind of thing and then we did um we did we did a head crush a fake a, like a, 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 a head oh crush nice effect that was it was fun did we you use like a, a or a watermelon or something yeah we used a watermelon we hauled out the watermelon and filled nice. it up with yeah, yeah, yeah. chunks of nastiness and and corn syrup blood and cocoa powder yep. to make it all yucky and then we had an axe uh, like the, the <laughs> blunt end of an axe come down and go and all the guts and nice. gunk came, yeah. came dumping out it was it was fun as fuck uh, good, good times yeah, making that's goofy films good times yeah uh, I don't I don't do that kind of sure. kind of filmmaking anymore but uh, uh yeah to be honest i, I have a lot of fun I, I don't know i don't know if it would work so well on stream <laughs> in the same way uh but <laughs> yeah. yeah just one day come live, on hi guys so <laughs> my head blows up and blows guts and blood all over the screen right. i feel like that might get my channel <laughs> removed immediately oh. or something 
Yeah, I mean, you might traumatize some people with that too. Because, yeah. I mean, that's like to do that type of practical effect is, you know, it's it's very convincing. And, and you do it in a setting you're not expecting it. You're going to. You're gonna fuck some people up for sure. Which, yeah. You know, maybe sure. maybe maybe that maybe I need to reach into my roots maybe. and find some funky effects to, to spruce things <laughs> up on stream. But. Yeah, just make it a little a little a uh, little bit more exciting. Mm. Well, uh, we've come to the end of our uh, of our time limit. Um, I, I have to be a little more strict. Appreciate you having me tired, on. But uh, but Clomax, yeah. it's been awesome. You are uh, very fun to talk to, and your project sounds Thank amazing. You. Uh, so I hope we'll see you around and chat more. I hope that people will go check out your projects. Please, I one do my last best. time, uh, please shout them out one more time so people can go see it. Um, well, your website. Yeah, stuff? Uh, yeah. I'm. A, my 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 website is uh, vdbx.io. Uh, the, there's more information on the wiki, which is wiki.vdbx.io. Um, it, it's void box uh, okay. without any vowels, if anybody. Uh, and I am Clomads on the internet, pretty much everywhere. And uh, so, you know, I usually spend my time on Twitter. Still, unfortunately. Uh, it's just where my people are still and, uh, yeah, C L O M A D. Uh, it is a semi portmanteau of my first and last name. So well, wonderful. Thank you so much for coming on. It was a absolute pleasure to have you on this signal night and thank you for having me. Yeah, I really no appreciate problem. it. It was super awesome to talk with you. So thank you so much. And I hope you have a good rest of your night. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. That's awesome. What a what a great conversation. What what a great conversation. That was an awesome conversation.